Safe Stations is a service where anyone addicted to drugs can walk into a firehouse 24-7 to get immediate help. Since Nashua started its own program six months ago, it has helped around 500 people, a number the city's mayor says he never expected. We didn't know what to expect exactly, but more, and it started a little bit slowly, like one person a day, but more recently it's two, three people a day are reporting to a safe station seeking help. But now the success of the program is outpacing its funding. We're looking for $50,000 from the Board of Aldermen. The uh, the, the budget committee has recommended that amount, but will there will be a final vote tomorrow night. If approved, the additional money will go to help support transporting addicts from a firehouse to Harbor Homes, a nonprofit that provides drug treatment. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Scott Slattery is the director of residential services for Harbor Homes. So they pick the person up at the fire station. We bring them either, if it's during regular business hours, bring them right here to the facility where we are at 45 High Street, which is where our health care clinic is and our behavioral health and specialists and our respite people. If it's after hours or on the weekends, they'll go to our Maple Street facility where it's 24 hours a day staffed. In April, the city saw the lowest number of overdoses in two years. Slattery says a possible sign of success from safe stations, but he emphasizes the work is not over. We know we need to catch people at that pivotal moment when they're ready to get some help. And now if approved, the mayor says the money will come from a contingency fund which sets aside money for the city to use for things that may not have been anticipated in the fiscal year budget. We're live here in Nashua, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.